the Lessons That Count, a math series presented by the Fort Collins High School Math Honor Society. Today we will be talking about linear programming and optimization. Linear programming is the process of combining several linear inequalities and finding the best possible value under conditions called constraints. Optimization means finding values in a feasible region that either maximize or minimize an objective function. Well, I'm going to go grab some lunch. I'll see you guys around. All right, bye. Hey guys, what are you up to over here? Not much. Carol and I are just planning to start a lawn servicing company this summer. And right now we're just trying to make a plan for how we can make the most money each day. Yeah, so we were thinking about charging $30 for mowing lawns and $40 to landscape yards, like trimming bushes and trees and weed whacking, all that sort of cool. stuff. Well, how long would you want to work each day? Well, I don't think we want to work more than six hours a day. I mean, it is the summer. Yeah, I don't really want to do more than two landscaping jobs per day. I mean, that's a lot of work. So how long do you think each job would take? Well, I think it'll take one hour to mow each lawn and probably about two hours to landscape yards. I wish that there was just a way to plug all this information into an equation that tells us the best way to make the most money. Well, do you think that there is? I think so, Emmett. Let's go ask Ms. Slagle if she knows of a way to help us. Hey, Ms. Slagle. Hey, guys. What's up? Carol and I are trying to figure out how we can make the most money each day at our new summer jobs. Can you help us? Well, I can try. Tell me more. Dirk and I are thinking of starting a lawn service company. We're thinking of charging $30 for mowing lawns and $40 for doing yard renovations. But they don't want to work more than six hours each day. And they only want to do two landscaping jobs per day. Is there an easy way to figure out how to make the most money each day? There is. It's called linear programming. We can write a system of inequalities based on the constraints you just told me, and then we can graph them all on the same graph. Let me show you how on the board. So we'll let x represent the number of lawns mowed each day, and y represent the number of yards landscaped each day. So y is less than or equal to 2, meaning they're going to landscape 2 or less yards per day. And 1x plus 2y is less than or equal to 6, which represents 1 hour per x lawns plus 2 hours per y yards, which is all going to be less than or equal to 6 hours. And remember, our domain cannot be negative, meaning you can't mow a negative amount of lawns and you can't landscape a negative amount of yards. So x is greater than or equal to zero, and y is greater than or equal to zero, which just means that we'll be graphing in the first quadrant with positive x and y values. Great! So now when we graphed our inequalities, this shaded area right here represents the feasible region. All of the coordinates in that area represent the combinations of lawns you could mow, and yards you could landscape. There's an infinite amount of points that meet your constraints, but only a finite amount that are whole number answers, like 1, 1, 2, 1, and 3, 0 are just a few possible solutions that allow you to landscape no more than two yards and work no more than six hours per day. Awesome. So how do we know which coordinate represents our answer? Well, if you're charging $30 for every lawn you mow and $40 for every yard you landscape, your profit equation is P equals 30X plus 40Y. Does that help? It sure does, Katie. Since your profit equation is linear, it means that the coordinate that maximizes your profit is going to be on one of the vertices of your feasible region. So this narrows your choices down to 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, and 6, 0. So now we can plug each of these four coordinates into the objective profit function to see which one makes you guys the most money. All right, so it looks like we have zero dollars, eighty dollars, one hundred and forty dollars, and one hundred and eighty dollars. So that means that the maximum profit we can make will be when we mow six lawns and do zero landscaped yards, giving us a maximum profit of $180 each day. Now that we've solved a linear programming problem, can you? Hi, my name is Catherine and I'm the administrative assistant at Tharp Cabinet Company.
TARP has been here since 1971. We're locally owned and operated, and we're Northern Colorado's largest cabinet manufacturer. So here at TARP Cabinets, we do cabinet orders for $2 million houses and $150,000 houses and everything in between. So we also have two different types of cabinets that go through the shop. We have high-end custom type cabinets and we have faster cabinets that go through there which we would consider more of a production based cabinet. We use systems of equations to figure out a balance to work on these cabinets and what's going to make it go through the plant the quickest and most efficiently. At the end of the day we need to make money and make a good profit for our company. So to, in order to do that, we have to have the mix of both of those cabinets to maximize profit. My favorite part of my job at TARP as the administrative assistant is the opportunities that I get being able to assist all the different departments and staff within the company. I've been able to do everything from working the power saw and, and sander to designing bathroom vanities and everything in between. A ski manufacturer makes two types of skis and has a fabricating department and a finishing department. A pair of downhill skis requires six hours to fabricate and one hour to finish. A pair of cross country skis requires four hours to fabricate and one hour to finish. The fabricating department has 108 hours of labor available per day and the finishing department has 24 hours of labor each day. The company makes a profit of $40 on each pair of downhill skis and $30 on each pair of cross country skis. Here are your equations. This one's all about fabricating and this one's all about finishing. Now it's your turn to help them maximize their profit. By graphing our inequalities, we can see that this is our feasible region. The four vertices are 0, 0, 0, 24, 6, 18, and 18, 0. And your profit objective function should have been P equals 40X plus 30Y. By plugging these coordinates, you should have gotten 0, 720, 780, and 720. You can see that at 618, we have a maximum profit of $780. This means that they should make 6 downhill skis and 18 cross-country skis each day to maximize their profit. That's a lot of money. Carol and I will definitely be able to make the most money this summer thanks to all this math. You never know when you'll need to use linear programming to maximize or minimize an objective function. This has been Emmett, Carol, Katie, and Dirk with Lessons That Count. Where math stops being confusing and starts being real. Hey guys, let's play hide and seek. I'll okay. count. Route 1, Route 4, Route 9, Route 16, Route 25.